What's up everybody? Chris with South Carolina Gun School and I've got a little surprise in the bag. What could it be? What could it be? It's the Smith & Wesson M&P FPC. Especially for your preppers out there. I know some have already probably got the uh, Kel-Tec Sub-2000, which is a very good gun. I'm not taking anything away from that. That gun, of course, does take Glock mags. Um, it breaks down kind of in half, uh, so folds up, folds up this way, uh, where this one kind of folds in half. I, I've I was a fan when I first saw this thing and I am so glad to finally be able to get my hands on it. So thank you Christian for being able to let me borrow this, uh, run some rounds through it and do a little review on it. It is much appreciated. Now with it folded up, uh, you're looking at a little over 16 inches with it folded up. And as you can see here, it comes with a nice little carrying case. So this case does come with it. You've got your straps here, so you can strap it down. You've got your extra pockets up here, so you can put stuff. Um, of course, it does come with your interchangeable grips, just like your M&P handgun does. So it does come with your interchangeable grips. You've got one, two, three, four extra pockets here. All right, the other thing is it does come with a 17 round mag and then two 23 round mags. You've got your Picatinny rail up at the top for you to put optics and then you've got M lock on the side so if you want to add a flashlight or something like that. This is just, this was a fun gun to shoot. Um, it's got a flat trigger uh, with a crisp break as they say on their website uh, it felt pretty good to me um, maybe a little clunky but it, I've, I've shot worse um, I've shot better so it's it's not a bad trigger you know and I'm, I'm sure you know as things go and this thing advances we'll see changes made to it you know possibly a better trigger but it's not the worst that I've seen could it be better yes but this has just been an absolute pleasure to shoot. Now weight on this thing is, I think they said a little over 80 ounces, like 80.5, something like that, which my math could be wrong. You know, I'm sure somebody might call me out on, I think that's around like five pounds. So it's not overly heavy, but now that's with the mags empty. I will say when you fill these mags up, it does get a little bit heavier nothing crazy okay but let's go ahead and we'll open this thing up now what you do is first you got your charging handle here so here's your charging handle right here it actually locks in on the charging handle so as you see it doesn't just I can't just pull it open it's not going to be flop around if you don't have it in the case or anything like that but you just barely pull back on the charging handle and there you go it starts to open up you can even see it's got a little notch here on the charging handle where my finger is. So right here where my finger is, there's a little notch and that's where it locks in. So you get done, you just pull back on it, let it lock in. And as you can see, it's not coming apart. So pull that back and then it just folds around and locks in. 
and then there you go all together so we'll go ahead and drop the mag out show that it is clear okay this thing has your slide stop just like what you would see on a handgun but it is ambidextrous you have it on both sides so it's very similar to what you would see on a m and uh, I will say shooting it and using this it's it's a little hard to get to um, I did a little reading on it just to see if if that was the case I didn't see any indication it's almost like it's recessed I don't know if you remember or have ever handled the uh, SIG P365 SAS uh, some of my buddies don't like me calling it that or SAS SIG anti-snag they had the slide stops kind of recessed into the gun hence anti-snag um, these to me kind of feel recessed into it a little bit and to me they're they're hard to get to all right um, I will say this is one thing that I'm not a fan of is the slide stop and the mag release because your mag release here is just like what you would find on your M&P handgun all right the reason I say I'm not a huge fan of the mag release right now is when I'm holding this I kind of have to lift it up and rotate you see how I got to take it out of my shoulder here so it's in my shoulder I can't just turn my hand to the mag release I'm not I don't like coming in with my other hand because I want to be reaching for that other mag or in this case as you can see your magazines are held here in the butt stock but now of course you've only got two spots so if you get some extra mags you might want some mag pouches but it is a little difficult to get to without having to like take it out of my shoulder and kind of turn it I don't know if you can see right here I'm having to kind of turn to be able to get to that mag release for me but you see it's kind of flapping out here I would like to be able to keep it in my shoulder to get to this mag release but nothing that I would not purchase no, the slide stop the mag release this is to me small it's not anything or any reason why I would not purchase this gun okay uh, price on this thing you're looking at I think it's uh, MSRP in at like six 50, 660, somewhere in there. Uh, so I'm sure you might find it, you know, cheaper at some places, but you're looking in that six to 650 range for this, which I think is a very reasonable price for what you're getting here. I mean, if you go out and buy an AR, you're gonna be, you know, a decent AR, you're gonna be spending about that much money, maybe a little bit more. But along with your slide stops being ambidextrous, your charging handle essentially is ambidextrous, so here's your charging handle right here. You've got one on each side. Uh, we'll pull it back, you'll hear the release. So it does have a buffer tube system, just like what you would find with your AR. Uh, but this is something where I can get to the charging handle from either side. I can get to my mag release or my slide stops from each side. Uh, the mag release can be changed to the other side if you are a left-handed shooter uh, the mag release is not ambidextrous and now if you go on and read on their website it says it has a thumb safety I don't know how this out here all right so I don't know how this out here applies as a thumb safety I guess if I'm using my support hand to release it but that's your safety right out there at the very end where it breaks down in half all right safety off safety on so I'm not sure where the thumb safety came from, but yeah, your safety's out here at the front. This right here is how it breaks down. Uh, you just take, push it out. All right, so I'm essentially, you see this little, this little lever right here, you can see I'm pulling it out. And as you can see, once I do that, it will break down. Now something else that I shouldn't say I'm, I wouldn't say it's a con, you know, maybe I'm not a huge fan of it at this very moment, but your releases for your magazines here, you gotta go the opposite way. All right, so if I'm wanting, if I'm back here and I want to release, all right, my left magazine, I have to push 
on the right. If I push on the left, as you can see, that one doesn't come out. But now, if I push on the left here, my magazine on the right comes out. So they are held back here. When you've got them full, it does get a little back heavy, but nothing that is not manageable. So again, these are to me, these are just small things. I don't see them uh, being anything on where I, a reason I would not buy the gun. Now, some of y'all might find these as reasons not to buy this particular gun. Um, it will take any M&P mags that are double stack M&P mags, full size double stack M&P mags. It won't take like your shield mags or anything like that. But we'll go ahead and pop these out here. So it's got the little piece here so when it locks into the mag well it's not all gapped up or anything like that. You know, some people don't like these on here because they say it pinches. Uh, I've ran them on, I ran this gun today. I've ran them on uh, the M&P Shield. I never got pinched. They didn't really bother me that much, but some people don't like them. So there's your 23, your 23, and then your 17 mag that just sits flush, but again, any full-size double stack M&P mags can be used in this particular gun. It was a really, really fun gun to shoot. Uh, I probably could have stayed out there a whole lot longer and ran a whole bunch more ammo through this thing. The other thing that I forgot to mention here is you do have a threaded barrel. All right, so I'll have a link so you can go in and read more about the specs and everything, but you've got a threaded barrel. So if you wanted to go with a suppressor, you've got that again, Picatinny on the top, M-lock down the sides here, depending on how you want to set it up. Uh, the Christian actually put a Hala Sun on here, you know, just a nice little red dot. And as you can see, even with it, when we fold it up here, fold it back again, pull your charging handle back, let that lock in. And when you put it down in the case, whether you put it on right side, left side, however you want to put it in the case, that's not going to be affecting the uh, any type of either the flashlight mount or you know your optics, depending on what you go with. All right. So we'll pull the charging handle back, release it, fold it around. I mean, it's it's pretty quick to come together. You know. Could there be a better case for it? Yes. But again, you, I mean, this is a really nice case that you're getting. Uh, it does come with a shoulder strap. So if you were to carry this thing, you're not having to just carry it by the handles up here. It does come with a shoulder strap for you to better carry it. But just absolutely just a blast to shoot. You know, definitely, again, if you're getting into prepping, if you're into prepping, if you're looking for that prepper gun, you know, something compact that you can fold up, here you go. Shoots nine millimeter, so inexpensive ammunition. I'm sure we all have nine millimeter ammo laying around. More than likely our handguns are probably nine millimeter. So this is a great option for you. You know, you can put your foregrip out here because it is it's a 16 a little over 16 inch barrel so you don't have to worry about you know pistol brace or anything like that so you can put your vertical foregrip angled foregrip finger stop however you want to set this up or if you're fine with it the way that it is that's up to you now your sling attachment is right here in the butt stock it has a quick disconnect sling attachment so this will be able to get you, you know, you will be able to attach a sling. If you're going to run a single point, there you go. There's single point. Uh, or you can have some type of M-lock or Picatinny attachment if you want a double point. But this is pretty much, I mean, everything you need. You know, if you're just getting into rifles, you're not wanting to spend a lot of money, you maybe don't want an AR, here's a really good home defense option for you. 
So this is something I, I definitely would, would recommend to anybody getting started or if you're prepping and looking for a prepper gun, you can see it folds up, locks in. Let's get our magazines back in here. So magazines, bullets face down to lock in. You can't put them in incorrectly as you can see. It will not let me put them in incorrectly. It only holds two back here. Um, even if you wanted to go with just your regular M&P mag, those also lock in as well too if you need to just put in an M&P mag or your standard M&P mag I should say. There you go. And again you've got the straps in here so you can strap it down when you're done. Very nice case, very nice gun, ambidextrous charging handle ambidextrous slide stops the mag release can be swapped to the other side if you're a left-handed shooter just you gotta something you gotta work at to figure out how this mag release is going to work for you so definitely when you get it you need to get out and practice with it some uh, i got and ran it a little bit before i did any filming it's just something to work with just like your I guess you could say your mag pouches, mag holders back here in the butt stock, they're the opposite to release. Uh, that might be something that could be switched. I didn't read that in depth. Again, I'll have a link so you can go in and check that out. Just wanted to give you all a nice little overview of a great little gun here. So remember price points about six to 650, somewhere in that range, but you're not gonna be disappointed with this. I think Smith & Wesson did a really good job with this thing. Are there things that can be improved? Of course, I think you'll have that with any new gun that comes out. There's always something that could be done a little bit better. Uh, it just happens that way. But please go in, check it out. This is a fun, fun gun to shoot, to have around, you know, home defense, whatever you might be using it for. But you're, you're not going to be disappointed with this thing. So I want to thank everybody for watching. Make sure you go check out our affiliates, NoOtherChoice.com, use code SCGS5, CoreEssentials.com, use code SCGS10 for any discounts. And there could be some other stuff in the works with some other companies coming soon. So please continue to like, subscribe, comment, share, support. You know, the more support you can give, the more options I can give for you, especially when it comes to promo codes and affiliates and things like that. But check out below for the link to go in and be able to see more on these specs here and read more about it. And always remember, folks, if you're not shooting, you're reloading. If you're not reloading, you're fighting. If you're not fighting, you're dead. Train to live. See you on the range.